Hello, this is Hallie Bridgman, and this is our Thanksgiving Real Food Whole Food video series, and we're going to make gravy. So, uh, when we did the, uh, the turkey carcass, uh, we pulled out the giblets and the neck, some of the skin. I added some celery, some onion, some carrots, uh, some fresh herbs that we were doing, some salt, and some peppercorns. And then I put them in water and it's been cooking for several hours. And what I did basically was just create a turkey broth. So I'm going to use a strainer and I'm going to strain this broth out. So you can see this is just turkey broth and it's beautiful. It's a nice beautiful yellow color. Okay, and you can see everything that we have in there. Pieces of onion and onion skin. All right, so I'm gonna bring this to a boil. It's not gonna take long because that's been simmering all day. And what I have here is about two tablespoons of cornstarch and I'm gonna add some water to that. Um, if you put cornstarch directly into this pot, it's gonna clump up with the heat. Anytime you add cornstarch to something hot, you need to basically temper it with some coal and a, a little miniature whisk. So when this boils is when we will add the cornstarch to it. Um, I'm going to grab a spoon so I can taste. So I'm tasting for salt. And that's perfect. That's the perfect flavor. Uh, I can even taste like the celery and the carrots. This is not, this is my second round of Thanksgiving. Um, I did one a couple days ago. This is round two. And at the end of the last one, I ran out of time to make, to video what I was doing. I had to just be really efficient. And so, uh, this was the one that I, I cooked the second turkey today. And so this was from it, but I did everything exactly the same. All right, so we have a pretty good simmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and whisk in this cornstarch. Now you can use, uh, my pan is cooking. You can use arrowroot starch, you can use tapioca starch, you could do flour and water. For poultry, I just typically enjoy using cornstarch. It works really well. And I need to bring it to a boil in order for it to do the thickening part. If I need to add more, if it's not thick enough, again, I would put it back in this bowl and I would, in this ramekin, and I would add cold water whisk it smooth, get all the wet dry, all the dry wet until I had, and I would pour it in again. I wouldn't do it otherwise. All right, so we're gonna let this boil, and when it boils, it will be thick like gravy. We'll be right back. So the gravy has boiled, I boiled it for a minute, it's thickened, and now I'm going to pour it into my gravy boat. And this is always the last thing I do. The last thing that goes onto my Thanksgiving plate is my uh, Thanksgiving table is my gravy boat. So I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays, and uh, I hope that you were able to get a lot out of how to make whole food, real food Thanksgiving. God bless you.